that sunshine and guess what we just can't get enough of it in fact we may get more of it and let's turn up the heat shall we <laughs> let's go check in with first alert chief meteorologist matt engelbrecht dare i say record breaking potentially I think based on the data, so we're, we're close. So we were saying record territory yesterday, and I'm going to stand by that at today. It all depends on how fast. Because one thing with this weekend system that has happened the last day, even going back the last few days, it's been speeding up. And we'll talk more about those implications here in just a second. Beautiful shot here at First Alert Weather Camp Show on WNDU and America's tallest outdoor decorated Christmas tree. Uh, they're going to be lighting that there. by this time next week. We're going to see this uh, with a lot of lights on it. Winds to the southwest a 5 to 10. A temperature at about 50 degrees and the dew point at about 36 degrees. The moisture in the atmosphere I know it doesn't feel like a lot this time of year, it's going to continue to go up on Friday and Saturday. So these temperatures, uh, we did hit 50 degrees South Bend International Airport. That's day one of potentially a three Friday and Saturday. Uh, today we had mostly sunny skies and struggled to get to 50 degrees. We'll have no problem getting there coming up on Friday and on Saturday, but we're going to start introduce more cloud cover and stronger winds. And you can see it, the temperature and the wind flow. The system we were talking about last weekend is now on the map for today. It's right up here at the top left corner of your screen. You see that counterclockwise flow. So initially it's going to be kind of that warm sector before Friday and Saturday before a cold front comes through on a Sunday. That's why temperatures go from the 50s on Saturday to the 30s on Sunday. And we'll talk more about this 55 right here, what it means for rain and cloud cover coming up in just a few.